tired of peace and quiet and the normal nine to five. Drop by and meet the family. We're in constant overdrive. We rock, we swing. But what would do better than anything is rock. It's our claim to fame. Rock. It's our middle name. Rock. Life is never changed when you know how to roar. What you learn to do is there's nothing to it. Jump back and cross your fingers when the bird begins to fly. A little rowdy, way before the ink is dry. We rock, we swing. What would you better than anything is roar? It's our claim to fame. Roar. It's our middle name. Roar. Life is never tame when you know how to roar. roar. We're just getting started. Watch out, we're lying hearted. Watch out. Okay, kids, Monday morning, a new week of fun and adventure. Are we excited or are we excited? I'll take that as a yes. Well, I'm excited, Daddy. I love school. I know you do, honey, and that's why you're such a good student. Now, where did I, where did I put my... Oh, keys. Thank you, Kate. Oops, my... Uh... And some glasses. Thank you, Kate. Oh. And thank you again. You're the best. I try to be. <laughs> Not that there's much competition. They flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills. And dances with the daffodils. Now, what does anyone want to say about this poem? Oh, oh, it was written by William Wordsworth, a 19th century English poet. Very good, Kate. And what is this last stanza saying to us, class? <laughs> Thinking about all those daffodils makes him happy when he's lonely. Very good again, Kate. Anybody else? Oh, come on, people. There must be someone besides Kate who has something to say. Yes, Daniel. I agree with whatever Kate says. All right, everybody, for your homework, I want you all to write your own poems. Just use your imagination. Mr. Bullfinch, what if we don't have an imagination? Well, then just imagine that you have one. Oh, and by the way, I've got a special prize for the student who does the best job. What? What? What did you... Hmm? Mom, I'd really appreciate it if you tried not to get a cold when I have important homework. I'll... I'll do my... best. Okay. What would a brilliant poet think? What a attention!
Are you finished? No, I wrote five more verses. Get out! Okay, but I thought maybe my song would give you some ideas. The only thing your songs ever give me are a headache. My Wawa to Wawa forever. That's the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Okay, now where was I? Oh, yes. What would a brilliant poet think? Hmm. supposed to be the best. Okay, Mr. Bullfinch said, just write what you know. I looked at the wall and chewed on my pen. I crumpled a page. I crumpled another page. I crumpled a whole forest of trees and was arrested for wasting the Earth's precious resources. Kate, I brought you your dinner. I'm not hungry. Honey, you've been up here for hours. You must be starving. I am starving for a brilliant idea. You know, you don't always have to be brilliant, Kate. You just have to do your best. It's a good thing you weren't William Wordsworth's mom. Yes, it is, because I'd be 200 years old. Now, eat your dinner. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Hey, make out time for school. Life has been a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Okay, kids. Tuesday morning, four more days of fun and adventure. Are we excited or are we excited? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take that as a maybe. Okay, class, it's time to hand in your poem. Thank you. Uh, and so my heart with pleasure grows when I think of a lovely uh, rose. Psst. So what you guys write? And so my heart with pleasure hums when I think of chrysanthemums. And so my heart just bleeds and bleeds when I look on a bunch of weeds. What about you, Kate? Oh, um, I'm not finished yet. What are you doing, Kate? Kate. I'm sorry, I was just... Oh, it's gotten dirty now. Maybe I could just take it home and wash it and hand it in tomorrow, or... It's due now, Kate. <laughs> Kate, are you sure you're okay? She's upset because she dropped her papers in class and had to hand in a dirty poem. How do you know? Allison's brother is in my class. You mean even the third graders know? Oh. <laughs> Kate wrote a dirty poem. No, it wasn't dirty. It was worse. It was boring. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Bullfinch. Mm-hmm. It's your teacher. <laughs> Kate Lionheart, this court finds you guilty of writing a boring poem. You are no longer the best in the class. I'll take your honor society pin, your science fair ribbon, your spelling bee badge, your gold stars for penmanship and neatness, and every single one of your straight A report cards. From now on, you will wear this, because you, Kate Lionheart, are nothing more than average. No! Kate, he wants to talk to you. Do I have to? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Uh, uh, hi, Mr. Bullfinch. I just wanted to thank you, Kate. Huh? For your wonderful poem. It was the only original one in the class. I'm giving you an A+. Plus. Excellent work, Kate. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Well, what did he say, Kate? Oh, he loved my poem. I got an A+. Plus. Whee!
Oh, congratulations. See, honey, I told you everything would be okay if you just tried your best. Oh, I'm so happy! Whee! Now, when I gave you people this assignment, I didn't mean for you to simply copy Wordsworth's poem. I wanted you to write about something that had meaning for you, like Kate. I would like Kate to read her poem so we could all hear what it's like when someone writes about something that they truly care about. Ah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's called The Rose. World, pay attention. I'm playing my guitar. Uh oh. Oh! Is something wrong, Kate? Uh, I, I have... Because this really puts you at the head of the class. No. Well, then, please continue. Because I don't want anyone to miss a word. <laughs> In honor of Kate's A+, I've decided to serve her favorite meal. Grilled cheese sandwiches and fries. Uh, Larry looks a little undercooked. Larry, bad spider. You're going to spoil your dinner. Kate, <laughs> when are you going to read us your poem? Yes, honey, we're what? dying to hear it. Um, Mr. Bullfinch has the only copy. Oh, well then, uh, what's it about? About? Uh, well, it's kind of hard to narrow it down to one thing. Well, just give us a general idea. Okay. Uh, generally speaking, the poem is about, um, you know, stuff. Stuff? Yeah, stuff that rhymes. Like the cat in the hat? More or less. I just had a wonderful idea, Kate. You could give Spencer your poem and let him put it to music. <laughs> Look, a French fly! <laughs> Good morning, students. As a special treat, I'd like to read you all a poem written by a fifth grader, Kate Lionheart. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Bullfinch, can I be excused to use the bathroom? Well, sure, Kate. But don't you want to hear your... Back in class! It's always nice to know there are talented students here within the walls of Buster Keaton Elementary. And it makes me especially proud as your principal to know I've had a little part in fostering those talents. Excuse me, there's been a family emergency and Spencer Leinhardt needs to be excused hey. right now. Oh, why, Kate, what a pleasant surprise, yes. Everybody, this is Kate Lionheart. Oh, my favorite student two years ago. Uh, was it two yeah. years? Yes, I think it was. And well, here I it is, a poem by Kate Lionheart. <laughs> World pay it. Hey. I'm playing. <laughs> poem. So now, on to the announcements. It's okay, Miss McBenny, the snake's history, and so am I. Hey, what about the family emergency? Family emergency? Oh, yes. Well, that was actually a family emergency drill. And you passed. Congratulations! <laughs> Oh, Kate, I almost forgot. I have something for you. The special surprise I promised to the best poet. Uh -huh. Thanks. Well, aren't you going to open it? To be honest, Mr. Bullfinch, I don't think I deserve it. <laughs> of course you do. And I think you're going to be very excited when you see what it is. 
You and your family are invited to an afternoon of poetry this Saturday, featuring readings by our best young poets, including fifth grade student Kate Lionheart. What's wrong? I, I forgot your afternoon snack. I think you missed a spot in the corner. So we did. Hang on, Judy. <laughs> you, 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 you got it. Good. <laughs> Here comes Judy. How's Mommy's little helper today? Daddy, is that you or me? <laughs> hmm, I guess it's both of us. How was your day, dear? Fine, until I ran into Old Faithful. Old Faithful? <laughs> Don't ask. Ah, yes. May I ask you a question, Dad? Oh, well, sure, honey. If you do something wrong by accident, is it still wrong? Mm -hmm. Wrong is wrong, Kate, no matter how it happened. But if it happened by accident, it wouldn't really be your fault, would it? No, I guess it wouldn't. Ugh, thanks, Dad. I'm really glad we had this talk. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. There is one more thing, Kate. Yes, Daddy? If you know you did something wrong by accident, and you don't do anything to make the wrong thing right, then it is your fault. Uh... Katie, is there something you want to talk about? No, there is definitely something I don't want to talk about. I mean, I don't want to talk about it. Not that there isn't it. I mean, can I go now? Mm, sure. I'm here if you need me. Thanks, Dad. I'm very sorry that your family couldn't make it, Kate. Yeah, me too. Well... You're up in a few minutes. Good luck and good posture. Uh, Kate, w where are you going? I need some time alone to rehearse. If you know you did something wrong by accident and you don't do anything to make the wrong thing right, then it is your fault. I hear you, Dad. Thank you. Is it, is it so? Oh, yes, it is. All right, thank you. It is my great pleasure to introduce a very talented young poet, Kate Lionheart. If we could just wait a second, there are some important people who I really want to hear my poem. Now I can begin. There was a boy who wrote a poem and sang it in his song until his sister took his poem, and what she did was wrong. She didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. But still she never told the truth. She just played innocent. They told her she was brilliant. They said, your poem's the best. But the poet is her brother, and it's time that she confessed. I'm really sorry, everybody, but if you want to meet the real poet, he's sitting right there with my family, my brother Spencer Lionheart. <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry, Spencer. I didn't mean to steal your poem. It got mixed in with my papers, and I handed it in by mistake. No sweat. We're in the same family, so it's almost like it's yours anyway. So, uh, how long am I grounded? I think maybe you've punished yourself more than we could on this one. Please, honey, come to us next time something like this happens. There won't be a next time. I promise. Well, that was quite a surprise, wasn't it? 
It looks like somebody is going to lose her A, not to mention her standing as the best student in the class. And furthermore, I will expect a 20-page essay on plagiarism on my desk on Monday morning, written by you and not your brother. So, under the circumstances, I suppose we should ask the true author to come up and read his poem. Spencer? I'll get my guitar out of the car. Just between you and me, I think I like my poetry without music. I always come 